Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Dave and I'm an incoming first year medical student here in the Philippines. So today, I'll be sharing with you guys my medical school applications. This video will be divided into two parts. Please watch out for the part two of this video to learn more about the three other medical schools that I applied here in the country. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell button. So for the first part of this video, I'll be sharing with you guys my experiences for the first three universities that I applied for medical schools, namely the University of Santo Tomas, the University of the East Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Medical Center, and the Far Eastern University Dr. Nicanor Reyes Medical Foundation. So dahil NMAD season na and the registration for the National Medical Admission Test has already started, I wish you all good luck and if hindi pa kayo nakakapag-register, I will link the CEM down below for you to be able to register and I will also link my reviewers para makatulong sa inyo as reference to help you review for the test. So first, the University of Santo Tomas. So fun fact about the UST Faculty of Medicine and Surgery. The UST FMS is the first medical school here in the country established in 1971 and is proclaimed a center of excellence by the Commission of Higher Education. So the faculty will be celebrating its 150th anniversary on year 2021. So simulan natin sa mga requirements. To the University of Santo Tomas will require you the following. PSA birth certificate. Dalawang 2x2 photo. Siyempre white background to. TOR. This is a temporary TOR. But for UST students, hindi nyo na kailangan magpasa ng TOR because, syempre, nasa copy na siya ng USD. Next, is a photocopy of your NMAT score. So, ito po yung next is dalawang certificate of good moral character. So, lagi na itatanong sa akin, anong difference ng certificate of good moral character sa recommendation? Actually, recommendation is saying the good qualities about you. The Certificate of Good Moral Character is just a certification from the Dean's Office or the head of your school saying na wala kang cases or anything na nakafile against you. Next is Baptismal Certificate if applicable. Next, Certificate of Extracurriculars. This will help you. So, ngayon pa lang, ask your organizations for the certificate na member kayo or may mga na-attendan kayong seminar. Next is application form. Lastly, only USD requires you to submit this health questionnaire form. So it is a form, back to back siya. So tatanungin yung medical history mo. So you need a physician to sign your health questionnaire form. So now my experience in applying USD. So the first step will be you will go to the USD Tanyan Key Student Center located near the Bitan Gate. So, dun yun. And then, room 101 ata ang room ng office for admission. So, you will submit all of your requirements there. And then, you will proceed to the second floor of the main building which is located at the center of the university. Yung mukha pong simbahan pero hindi po siya simbahan. And tip, if late ka nang pupunta or hapon, please magpasama ka ng tao na pipila sa'yo sa main building dahil ang pila sa main building ay napakahaba. My experience nun, because nagpasa ako after my class, so my class ended around 2 o'clock or 1.30. So medyo mahaba na yung pila by then. So nung nagpasa ako sa OFAD, medyo natagalan pa ako sa OFAD kasi syempre they will double check your requirements. So the application fee is 3,000 pesos. Pagdating ko dun sa main building, sobrang haba na nung pila. Pumila ko dun for almost 2 hours bago ako nakapagbayad and then babalik pa akong OFAD to give them the photocopy of my payment. Take note that the University of Santo Tomas, based dun sa experience ko ha, ay walang interview. They will just have an admissions committee that will assess your application. And there is no interview and you just have to wait for around February or early of March para may release yung result. So next is the University of the East Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Medical Center. So for UERM, UERM is located at Aurora Boulevard. Tama ba? Aurora Boulevard and Medj Corner ng Araneta Avenue. So katabi siya ng Meza. ko alam niyo yung Meza out there. Or the, malapit siya sa SM City Santa Mesa. So for the requirements of UERM, first, they will require you to submit. So first, they will require you to submit a photocopy of your birth certificate for 2x2 two two white background, a temporary TOR, a photocopy of your NMAT score, so one good moral certificate from the office of the dean or 
the head of your school, your application form, certificate of candidacy for graduation, recommendation letter from two of your former professor, one long brown envelope. The application fee for UERM is also 3,000 pesos. My experience in UERM. So the Office of Admission is located at the building on your left. So the Office of Admission is located sa dulong room on your right. And you will pay at the second floor yung cashier. Sa so, tapad ng Office for Admissions, mayroong hagdan and nandun na yung kagad yung cashier. Pagkabayad mo ng application fee, so they will schedule you for an interview. So my experience ng interview ay medyo matagal. We were required to be there for around 1 o'clock. My interview time is 1.30 so dapat nandun kami ng 1 o'clock sa Office for Admissions because they will be giving you test. Para siyang moral test. They will give you situations kung ano yung priority mong unahin and then you'll be asked a question for essay. So, ito yung naitanong sa amin. If there's another doctor na namatayan, nakikipagpalit siya sa'yo ng schedule Pero, it's your grandmother's birthday. So, makikipagpalit ka ba? Why and why not? And the situational questions are, if may nakita ka nag-cheat, anong gagawin mo? And then, may mga given na kagad na situations. And then, you will rank what you will do first. And there will be questions like, what's your hobbies? What's your favorite color? What music do you listen to? Do you read a lot? And then, there will be a list of 50 books. And then you will encircle ano, yung, ano dun yung mga nabasa mo na. Kami, after answering that test, we proceed to the hospital side of UER. And I was scheduled with Dr. Ingles. Pero that time, may, may class kasi si Dr. Ingles. So, naghintay pa kami around 3.30 bago siya dumating. So, dumating siya around 3.30 and wala pang 5 minutes na tapos yung interview. So, UERM would release a list of accepted applicants. So, you just have to check your portal if admitted ka. Last for this video is FEU NRMF. For FEU NRMF, kailangan mo mag-submit ng PSA birth certificate, a temporary transcript of record, a photocopy of your NMAT score, two certificate of good moral character from the office of the dean or the head of your school. Next is your application form, two recommendations from your former professors, two passport size photo, and certificate of general weighted average. So you will submit your requirements to the Office of Admissions located to second floor. So you will be given a schedule for interview. Usually yung interview na to, kasama mo yung buong first batch ng mag apply Nung batch namin, around 700 plus to 800 plus kami nag-apply. So you will be required to go there around 7 o'clock. You will be given a personality test ng 8 o'clock and then you'll be given a pre-interview orientation. Pre-interview orientation is just an orientation to know more of the history of FEU and RMF and to know all of the heads, the department heads, and what can the school offer to you, such as scholarship facilities and your subject for your first year of medical school. Next, you'll be divided into small groups composed of 50 applicants and then one by one kayong tatawagin for your interview. Yung batch ko, yung na-interview kami, one-on-one -on -one yung interview. And then you will have to wait for a month para mailabas ng FEU and RMF yung result. So FEU and RMF releases results by your application number sa kanilang Facebook page. Ayun pala, hindi ko pala nasabi sa inyo yung application fee. So the application fee for FEU and RMF is 2,000 pesos. So that's it for the part 1 of my medical school application. So please stay tuned for the part 2 of my medical applications. So don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. So for all of the NMAT takers this October 27, I wish you good luck and see you in med school life. Bye!